Easter. Did you lay an egg? Huh? Did you lay an egg? Huh? Hello, Hamburg. Well, sure, now you stop when I come down here. I didn't bring no food yet. I got some corn to bring you. Hamburg's little spurs. <laughs> Don't you peck my phone. Don't you peck it. I don't think you can see her spurs. She's got some sharp little spurs. Get a... You can see them or not. It's kind of, it looks like it might be kind of fuzzy. There's Olive. Olive! She's got a little fluffy head. She's got little feathers on top of her head. <laughs> There's Russian. Let's get it off the of zoom. <laughs> That's funny. They're side by side. Hamburg. And there's Hamburg's daughter, Hazel. Down there is Rusty the Natty. So I didn't get my mama's comb. I got the Easter egg comb. Got the little flat walnut comb. So we got Easter egg legs, kind of. A little bit more, a little bit more thicker and darker and colored, whereas Hamburg's are lighter and. Hamburg's a little small, little chicken, it's hard to tell, but she's small. Ham or Hazel is bigger. Of course, she's. I picked up some of the Easter egg on that part. What you doing, Mavis? There's Sex Link's daughter, Sex Link and Wyandotte. Keeps wanting to focus on the fence. There's Sussex. Little oh, Harriet down there, she's a skittish little thing. Little oh, Hazel, she picks on ha or Harriet, chases her around. Oh, wow, this 
not go with chickens. What you doing, Hamburg? <laughs> I know I love Russian. two Easter eggs I got left now. Rusty and, and Easter. We lost big Easter. Mm, the beginning of this month. She had her almost seven years. Rusty, Rusty and F&M and Sussex. The ones we got left are the first ones we bought. Mar in March will be seven years ago. <laughs> Only one laying on Rusty's side is Easter. She she started laying at the beginning of this month. So everybody else hasn't started laying back laying yet again. Taking a break. What are you doing, Hamburg? What you doing, Hamburg? Huh? What you doing, Hamburg? <laughs> Don't pick her beard off. They always clean up Rusty's little beard. Peck and trim it off. Chickens always gotta peck at something. I always gotta peck at something. Peck, peck, peck. Mess up feathers. Blue Copper, she was all pretty after she dropped her feathers in the fall and grew up nice new feathers and they got her in the back of her feathers in front of on the base of her tail all picked and broke. Is that down there? Is that Harriet? Yep, it's Harriet down there. She'll take her little bath. Here comes Hazel. She's gonna say, You better cut that out. I don't like that. <laughs> Harriet's like, Dang, I was trying to take a bath. Rude, wasn't it, Harriet? She don't care. There's somebody in here fussing. Get out of that poop box, White Rock. Zoom out. Is it zoomed out? Oh, yeah, it is. Look at her in that poop box. Bad gummit. White rock. Where's Brahma? Get out of there. Get out of that. Back and they messed up her feathers. What's the matter, Whitey? You an egg? Huh? Are you having egg cramps? Well, that's Brahma. Brahma! Change of poop box.
boxes. Oh, Rama, that wasn't nice. No, Whitey wants to lay an egg. Whitey, Whitey, that's White Rock and Wine Nuts offspring. Of course, I know that. Got yeah, a little bit of wine dots lacing on her, on her chest. Her and Mavis definitely both got uh, wine dots comb and his waddles. Home. White Rock's her mama. Bothering you? Mama took your nest, huh? All right, I'm gonna get out here, leave you alone for a little bit. Already near 70 degrees, and it's not, not, not quite 10 o'clock yet. Oh my. I know you've seen them before, man. All open up real pretty now. They almost look fake. I had to put one of those little rings help them pick their heads up because had the rain rained what friday no thursday something like that it rained pretty hard and they was all had their heads laying down it was all lay down so i put this ring on them and they, finally they've stood back up so my hyacinths are getting ready to Start coming up, and I'm starting getting. There's like, I don't know, I guess they're spreading. I don't know. I think they got blue. These are going to be blue, not pink. Some of them are starting to open. Got quite a few hyacinths in through here. They started to spread. I don't know if they are, but it seems that way, anyways. Got some more small ones coming up here. There's one over there by itself. gonna leave the leaves and I ain't gonna clean up no leaves out of my flower beds just yet it's still too early and uh still a lot of chances of frost and cold weather between now and about the first week or so of April but probably toward the end of March I'll start cleaning leaves and stuff out got most of it all cut everything cut down and but not gonna start really cleaning stuff up and out till just yet but probably another month I'll leave it so I'm saying it smells so good like perfume just now that one's just now starting to open up Oh, I got some lighter pink ones, and those will be blue when they open. And then I got some darker pink ones. I've been planted there a pretty good while now, quite a few years now. They've been there. It's been a good little spot for them because they stays moist for them in the spring through the winter, but it also got good drainage here too. So, so. They smell like regular daffodils. Mm, not quite as they smell good, but 
not quite like the regular March flowers, the ones you, you know, like the ones you got. Those ones smell the best. The ones that you got, the ones you, this, you know, old home places on the side of the roads and stuff, those smell the best. They smell too like the regular March flowers. I mean, they are, they're all daffodils, but these ones, not quite that good smell. Almost look like a, uh, sorry to say egg, but eggs, egg whites ain't yellow, but. <laughs> Got some other daffodils I planted last spring. They could come up and bloom, but they are, they, right now it's just the grassy tops. They bloomed last year when I, I planted them last, well not this fall, but the fall before, and they bloomed, and they look like the regular March flowers, but they're kind of an off-white color called Mount Hood. But they're just the, just the grassy tops right now. Oh, oh no, there's a rock sitting there on top of someone's head. I didn't know that. Why did do that? Oh crap, hope I didn't throw some bolt on it, maybe it'll straighten up. Oh, that sucks, I didn't know that. I didn't know I had a bulb under there. Straighten up. Push it back up a little bit. Let's stitch with that rock somewhere else. Put it right there for now. Yeah, they, I hope they bloom this year. This will be their second year here. Really had big old flower heads on them, like, like the regular March flowers. <clears throat> but they're just a different color. It's called Mount Hood. But it, hopefully they will. <clears throat> I think those other daffodils I got, they, uh, they must be more of a... Well, of course, I know yours are up too, but... A little bit more of a earlier one. I don't know. They're just sitting over here like they're glowing, kind of, with the sun. Well, so I'm going to go inside and do a few things, and I'm going to come back out for a little while. I shall talk to you later. Bye-bye.